What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Awesome Inks Podcast, where we highlight people pursuing their definition of, you guessed it, awesome. So buckle up and get ready for some more success story adventures and failures from Kentucky's tech and entrepreneur community. Hey guys, it is awesome to be connecting with you guys again. It's Garrett coming at you live from my new studio, aka my bedroom. I am in uh, enjoying quarantine 2020. Again, I hope you're well, hope you're safe, and I hope you have missed hearing my voice because it's definitely missed giving you guys some, some fun, lame jokes as well as cool updates with what's going on in our startup community. So if you have not heard, don't know if you can hear it, but today is a special day. It marks Awesome Inc.'s 11th birthday, and I'm really honored to be even giving you this update because over 50% of small businesses don't make it past five years. And with that remaining percentage, most of them fail before they get to year 10. So not only has Awesome Inc. trumped that statistic, we've already started on into our second decade. So I'm really ecstatic. But what I'm most appreciative of, and I speak on behalf of our entire crew, is the community that we have that backs us up, that invests into one another, that invests into building up a community of entrepreneurs, of technology, lovers, everything in between. And it's been really cool to see how our community has had our back over the years from every, anyone from being an investor to an entrepreneur, to a college student, to a professor. Anybody in between has had a key part and our community is, is, the, best, is the best aspect of that. Anyways, I wanted to say a couple things because we're growing up. This might hurt your feelings. I know it It was a tough pill for our team to swallow, but we're, we're changing our name and we're not going to be Awesome Inc. anymore. We're actually going to be Amazing Inc. And yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing. It's taken our team about a month to really, to really unpack and even saying this now is, is funny. But if you look up the definition of amazing, uh, it's a really powerful adjective and it's causing great surprise or wonder, astonishing. And we think that's so crucial because that's what we've been a part of. And we've been a part of this astonishment, this wonder. And we we kind of thought that after a while, awesome just became juvenile, like, oh, you're awesome. It, it was just a word. And so we really wanted to change our mission. We're really excited about the next decade coming up. And also, uh, get ready to see some new branding. We're changing red to blue. We're going to be a little more in line with Lexington colors. And uh, excited for everything going on in our community. Again, hope you're staying safe. We'll catch you soon. You bet. <laughs> I hope you didn't believe that. There's no way. That is so lame. Anyways, guys, just kidding. April Fool's on the new name change. It is our birthday. We, we turned 11. We're staying as Awesome Inc., because what is a better name than Awesome Inc? None. Nada. Zip. Zilch. Zero. Goose egg. Exactly. Anyways, wanted to give you guys <laughs> uh, a serious update. We're changing the name of our podcast, and you'll see how it's rolled out over the next few episodes. Uh, it's going to be a new name. It's not going to be the Kentucky Entrepreneur Hall of Fame anymore. It's actually just going to be the Awesome Inc. podcast. So yeah, so new name, same great taste. And the reason we wanted to do that is because Awesome Inc. has done a lot in the community. It's also been helped by a lot of the community, and there's so much more that we can cover than just the Kentucky Entrepreneur Hall of Fame. It was part of our mission to raise awareness of the impact that entrepreneurship has made in Kentucky's Commonwealth while encouraging others to pursue ambitious endeavors like those that have been inducted. And although that is so pivotal, we've realized there is so much more that we're missing in our local community around Awesome Inc. in general, from boot campers to in job placements to students learning how to code to people pitching at Fiverr Cross and that being the first platform they've ever pitched to an audience and all the in between. And so we want to make sure that we're capturing more of our local story. We're, we're capturing what's going on in our workplace. And when we get to celebrate with those entrepreneurs who are inducted in the Hall of Fame, that'll be the time that we get to connect with them and share their story. So again, same great content you're going to hear. We're going to be sharing more stories. And again, we want to highlight all the success, all the people pursuing their definition of awesome around Lexington and Kentucky as a greater whole. Hopefully you guys uh, weren't too worried when I said Amazing Inc. I'm excited. Get ready coming up next week and you're going to find some, some awesome, awesome wisdom coming up in the next couple episodes. Stay safe. We'll be in touch soon. Peace.
Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Awesomings Podcast. And another quick thank you to Lee Rosevear and a few members from our community who provide the music that you hear in the show. Lastly, give us a follow on Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. Or even better, come on down to our space. Come be a part of our community and get plugged in. And let's start something awesome together. You guys rock. We'll see you next time.